The Revolutionary War may be long over, but the Whiskey War still rages across the Atlantic between Jack Daniels and Johnny Walker. How do these classics compare? Let's check it out. Johnny Walker versus Jack Daniels. John Walker began selling Walker's Kilmarnock whiskey in the mid-1800s at his grocery store in Ayrshire, Scotland. After his death in 1857, his son rebranded it as Old Highland Whiskey and eventually Johnny Walker. Jack Daniel was raised in Lynchburg, Tennessee. He learned distillation from a local moonshiner and despite claims it started in 1866, he established his distillery in 1875. Both utilize square bottles which allow more to fit on a shelf without breaking. Johnny Walker is known for its multicolored labels. As of 2015, there are six standard labels in production. Jack Daniels is best known for its old number seven, but produces others such as Gentleman Jack, Tennessee Fire, and Single Barrel. Looking at their most popular labels, Johnny Walker Red is rated as Tier 2 by website Proof 66. Jack Daniels Old Number 7 is in Tier 3. Johnny Walker sells about 20 million cases of whiskey a year. Jack Daniels sells around half that, closer to 10 million. Big spenders can certainly splurge. Jack Daniels celebrated Frank Sinatra's 100th birthday with a limited edition Sinatra Century costing 500 bucks a bottle. That's chump change compared to Johnny Walker's Diamond Jubilee, which honored Queen Elizabeth II's 60 years on the throne. It cost 100,000 pounds per bottle. Although it's better not to drink and drive, both have ties to car racing. Johnny Walker is the official whiskey of Formula One, while Jack Daniels had a nine-year sponsorship with V8 Supercars. And finally, don't forget that Johnny uses the Scottish spelling of whiskey, while Jack goes the American route by adding an E. So with which whiskey do you wet your whistle? Let us know in the comments below.